So, for our first question regarding land use preferences, the main areas in Oceano that were shown to where development should be concentrated are near Pier Avenue, near the beach, and in the downtown center area. The options for envisioning for that downtown area, the community has a primary preference for two-story mixed use. For the third question, regarding what the community envisions for replacing the airport, they would like, there's a pretty even split between a mixed use town center and a recreational facility slash open space. The types of amenities they would like to see within walking distance of their home, the main would be retail stores and increased public facilities. Next is circulation. So the first question dealt with the types of traffic calming devices the community would like to see. Uh, the primary choice was were raised crosswalks, and the next highest were traffic circles. In terms of improvements to Pier Avenue slash the beach areas, the community prioritized. Well, so it's actually a very, very even split. Wow, you guys are not making this easy for us. <laughs> Well, we have a lot to digest here. So, the highest would be a reduction of traffic congestion, and this, and the tie for second would be a parking lot slash parking structure, or more pedestrian and bicycle access. In terms of infrastructure improvements, the community prioritized more sidewalks and increased street lighting. Next, we will have housing. Um, regarding what types of housing you prefer, it's a fairly even division between single family detached and multi family dwelling. Um, regarding what type of affordable housing would be most beneficial for Oceano, it also looks fairly even split between secondary dwelling units and small apartment complexes. Regarding the most pressing housing issue in your neighborhood, um, it looks kind of like trash management has the highest number of stickers followed by building maintenance. Regarding which of the following are the top three most important type of special need housing you put up over? Um, it looks like low income and workforce housing are first-ish together and homeless housing shortly followed by senior housing. For community design, <laughs> Hi, Evan. Uh, the top three amenities that people would like to see along Highway 1 and other commercial and residential streets. Um, it looks like infrastructure to prevent flooding and capture stormwater, public plaza slash town square, and pedestrian lining, or public art and murals are the top ideas. A few other community design preference questions. Um, the first one, what type of street design would you like to see? And the very clear top choice there is paved with sidewalk and landscaping. The second, the other question here, what type of activities and events would you like to see around Oceano? Um, it looks like cultural festivals and community beautification and cleanup events got the most stickers. So in terms of the types of public parks and park amenities the community would like to see, there's a pretty even split between parks with play structures and picnic tables, as well as more sports parks to facilitate things like soccer. Uh, the types of recreational walking slash biking trails, there's a pretty even split between natural trails and beach access trails. The environmental issues that need the most attention, according to community members in Oceano, include excess dust and poor air quality, preservation of natural habitats, and flooding. And the main reason community members want to preserve the dunes is to preserve the unique beauty and habitat preservation. Next, we will have noise. So the type of noise reduction and mitigations the community members uh, prefer to see 
would, uh, number one would be insulation and barriers. Actually, there's a pretty even split. I didn't realize they were split in two right here. Okay, uh, the types of noise that bothers community members the most come from the airport and the Oceano Dunes. Next is economic development. The areas of Oceano that the community feels uh, should be prioritized to be built up are Front Street or Highway 1 and Pier Avenue. The types of businesses the community would like to see, there's a pretty even split between restaurants, retail, and recreation. And what community members feel will attract more businesses to Oceano are improved buildings and spaces, as well as incentives for new businesses. The biggest issue uh, community members feel is uh, in terms of public facilities, uh, deals with flooding, and then where community members would like to see facility investments are uh, at the top community centers, and then there's a pretty even split between schools and libraries. Regarding health, and the question, what would encourage you and or your family to be more active? It looks like nature trails and paths is shortly ahead of bicycle and pedestrian friendly streets. Let's get out and walk more, huh? <laughs> uh, what type of health center changes would you like to see in Oceano? It looks like more walking and biking infrastructure took the lead. For the question, what healthcare specialties are most needed in Oceano? Mental health. Um, homeless services and family services are the top three there. The environmental justice. Regarding what the biggest environmental issue facing Oceano, dust and poor air quality has the most votes. Um, for which strategy would you prefer to better manage and control vehicle traffic in the dunes? Um, looks like limit off-road off vehicle use and close Close Pier Avenue are about time. Um, regarding which alternative mode of transportation would you like to see improved? Walking and pedestrian paths has the most stickers there. Um, regarding how would you rate the amount of affordable housing in Oceano, it looks like fair is the general consensus. Uh, to the question, what is your biggest safety concern as a resident of Oceano? Tsunami slash flooding hazards is there. Um, so what, what do you consider the most pressing flooding hazard? It looks like the most votes goes to the Arroyo Grande Creek flooding. Um, which strategy do you prefer to better control flooding? A tie between curb and gutter improvements and storm drainage improvements. To the question, what is the most important safety issue for long-term viability? I think there's more answers to that question. <laughs> um, but building resilient infrastructure has the most <coughs> stickers, I think. And thank you again so much for your participation today. We are now going to take this feedback and combine it with our research to finalize our background report about the community of Oceano. We will have a short winter break and when we resume in January, we are going to start developing alternative paths for the future. Our next visit will be in February. We will send out flyers and notices to the community and post on our website and Facebook pages prior to the meeting. <laughs>